in white, Spartans in green, and we are underway. Louisville up to number two in the polls. That's their highest ranking since 2013. They do a great job moving their players and moving the ball. And when you do that, you tend to get extra opportunities, and Sutton is really doing a great job. He just can't control it. They have a they come in as a team shooting 25% from beyond the arc. And that is a great way to get going. A young team, one freshman and four sophomores at the starting lineup, and it's a freshman, Tommy Bruner, who knocks down the first shot of the game. Man-to-man -man defense for USC Upstate. And that gives Louisville a huge edge, at least on the paper. And that's the opening score for the ACC. USC Upstate up early, 6-2. Dalvin White coming in a 20% three-point shooter. Don't listen to us. We told you how poorly the team shooting. <laughs> clearly not playing with any fear against the number two team in the country. Laura again showing off a mid-range game. And he... Right back to Bruner. He's got the hot hand to start. Tip drill, but it's a takeaway for the Cardinals. Up to Laura. Draws the foul, had four, but you just saw he got out in transition and got the foul, and that's something that Louisville has not been able to do so far. Comes with turnovers, but they only have one turnover so far. Wara gets the second foul shot, and he's got all four. Bruner tries to drive in, out of control shot, well off the mark. Great hustle, Perry pushes the tempo immediately. Here's Wara skying and slamming. Year last year, they added a great recruiting class this year. And remember, this is a program with as much tradition as any program in the country. Oh, absolutely. And these fans expect a number two next to the name of Louisville. It's just been a while since they've actually had it. Jordan Wara. Hots at the end of the shot clock, and recently they're giving up layups on the other end. Wara picks the pocket. Kimball gives it right back to him. And back to back basket. Shooting three of six. Then they went two for 15. They're three of their last six. So. When they don't turn the ball over and they shoot it, they have been able to put some pressure on Louisville. It's a one possession game, almost 18 minutes into it. Uh, Dan, we're man enough to have that here in the first half, particularly lately as they've tried to attack off the dribble. Now, this is the third lead. And that's when you shoot free throws like that, that has the coaches all with their heads down. <laughs> Not in another rebound. He has eight in his first half. He's dominated the glass. Louisville has just not dominated the game. They have not looked like the number team, two team in the country should in this first half. Wara three. He buries it. That's more like inside the Wara. Keeps it alive. Misses the layup and taps it in. Great passing though. Open three. White can't knock it down. Wara in transition. Keeps it himself. All the way, coast to coast, Jordan Ward. Let's see how Upstate handles it, and they turn it over. Here's Wara. Takes it himself. Can do except get in front of him, try to take a charge. Carry you for a while until his teammates get rolling. And he has done exactly that. Sift tonight. You, know, you look at Mozone and Zinc. Dalvin White has held his own out there tonight. Bruner has made a couple of baskets. This is a team that has some potential. Remember, they're very young. Jordan Wara rocks the rim. He's overseas from Dublin. And yeah, that's that's a first basket in a while for the Spartans. And they have faded down the stretch here large part to the Cardinals. Oh, what he play. also plays like that. Wara somehow keeps it alive. Throws oh, it up. Oh, and it goes down. Well, Louisville has weathered the storm tonight. For 30 minutes, this was a back and forth game, but it has been all Cardinals down the stretch.